Tell me when. Right, well, we're live now, but we gotta wait until. Hi, everybody. Nobody's here yet. Okay. I'll tell you when the first person arrives. Does that take the is the glare off? There, that's lighting is okay. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. It looks fine from here, G. <laughs> There's one. Howdy. There's two. <laughs> All right. Welcome. You're just sitting around with nothing to do. <laughs> Jessica Carr says hi, ladies. Hey, Jessica. How you oh, doing? Oh boy, Jessica, you've been the talk of the town today. Oh my God, your fox is so cute. It's unbelievable. Do you have a picture or anything? I didn't bring any of that oh. over here. Susan Freeman's here. Hey, Susan. But it's not the it's not the profile though. No, it's not. It's not right the because the profile won't. So far, it's I have a head of a fox, and but it is adorable. darling. Yeah, Margo, Margo lighting is beautiful, and it nests really, really nice. She's seen it. You know how it. You flip it. it it's very it's cute. Cute, yes. Like I, I'm not a fox person, but let me tell you, it's adorable. How much is it? Um, in the mini size, we're gonna we're gonna actually have them next week, so everybody can see them. Um, in the mini size, I think we're going to do 12 bucks, and then I think the XL's 14 and then whatever the other two are. But we're going to have it in all four sizes, so even for the long arm, we'll have it. So she's going to have it in four sizes, so it's going to the mini, the, tw the half inch. The mini, the, the XL, and then the half inch for domestic, and then for the long arm as well. So. That's very <coughs> be, going to be very cool. So you'll get to see that on Saturday. Yes, and two more templates also. And new plus ones. two more templates. Yes. yes. So she's been having a good time. And uh, do we? How many people do we have? We're up to eight, but uh, Lane Bill, Bill just joined us. Hey, Hi, Lane. Lane. How you doing? And we know you can hear everything, so we'll try to behave ourselves. Yeah, we're going to try not to say things that are inappropriate. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. At least when you're in the room. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Elaine, what's, oh no, I'll ask you in an email. Never mind. It, it has <laughs> to do with her email address. Oh. I'm going to ask if she's a stand-up comic. Well, there you go. You just asked. Okay. Are you a stand-up comic? Because if you are, I'd like to see your show. Trudy is here. <laughs> Hi, Trudy. Hey, Trudy. How you doing? Long time no see. Yeah. We were talking about you this morning, too. Dave keeps trying to ship your order to you. Lisa Fox says hello. Hi, hey, Lisa. Lisa. I don't recognize, I don't recognize that name either, either but welcome. we're glad she's here. We're going to go ahead and start? Yeah, maybe we'll wait a couple more minutes. Okay. I've got this beautiful fabric here. I know, I really do love that fabric. And I've got it in all five. I know, you should deals. make a handbag out of it. I should make you a handbag out of it? Or, no, you should just make a bag out of it. Well, pick out a <laughs> pattern. You know, I have a lot of um, interesting patterns you can very pretty. I really like it a Do lot. Do you want to Emily and Ursula? I'll make it during the class. There you now, go. Trudy says, hang in there. It's crazy here. I don't think it's crazy. How can it be crazy anywhere? What do you mean? How could it be crazy Well, anywhere? listen, maybe she's got a lot of irons in the fire the deck. The That's country's right. on basically lockdown. Well, yeah, but she has, you know, things going on in her Are life. Are you in one of those states that aren't following the rules, Trudy? She's here around the corner. Oh, she she lives. Then it can't be crazy. There's nobody here to be crazy with. Well, she probably had some good rain today. Lisa Fox says, "I always buy at the quilt shows." Thank oh, you. God bless you. Yes. <laughs> and unfortunately, we are. I am at least missing my quilt show friends. And I miss out my quilt show friends. I don't miss being on the road though so much. Well, you know. Well. <laughs> well. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and start. Uh, what we're doing today is we're demonstrating the um, automatic, uh, the adjustable quilt strip rulers, okay? And they come in three different sizes and... Um, due to unforeseen yeah, due to circumstances, <laughs> yeah. I'm missing one of those sizes. Dave shipped it out already. So um, the mini size is perfect for people that are in RVs or in apartments or in small spaces where you do not have a lot of room to cut, okay? And the reason why is because it's six and a half inches wide and it's 14 inches long. So it's like half of the, uh, a little bit 
a little bit less more than half or a little bit more than more half. than half of these rulers and so how they work here's mine right here this is the one I use the most this orange piece of plastic on the back is your fabric guide and I'm going to go ahead and loosen it up and we're going to cut some we're going to cut some strips because most of us do binding and most of us do them at two and a half inches some people do them at two and a quarter but you can do them either way but as you can see I've got numbers here here and here so I can line my my little orange piece up with all of those markings and let's see if I can get this don't don't cinch it down too um, tight or you will crack your ruler but here is and then swearing will happen and swearing will happen Elaine, we apologize, because um, we know you're going to hear it. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so I have it set at two and a half inches all the way down. It lines up. On the back, on this strip, is like it's almost like a... Um, are we getting a glare? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, it's almost like a piece of sandpaper here, and it grips the fabric really, really well. And this piece also is high so you don't cut your fingers because um, I belong to a sewing group in California and every single one of the women in that group has been to the emergency room uh, except me because I've been lucky so far now watch I'll do it right here on the camera so <laughs> well that would be exciting Oh yeah sure but of course the first thing that goes to your mind when those things happen is don't bleed on the fabric because <laughs> you know our fabric is very important to us okay so we get our fabric laid down now um, all you have to do is get it squared up, and I've already squared mine up. So there's, I can butt my fabric right up against the edge of that orange strip, like that. Actually get it so I can, and all of my strips are gonna be exactly the same and I don't have to measure. My problem is, is once I get going, I kind of lose track, and I then all of a sudden my two and a half strips uh, inch strips are two inches and an inch and a half and depending on who I'm talking to or what I'm doing so we just cut we butt it up again another perfect set of strips here and see I'm not having to hold it really tight it's just um, you're not having to move your hand either right. it's up the gripping. ruler oh, usually go. I have to work my way up the ruler that's right so usually I'm starting down here and then I'm inching up in order for it not to slip I just have to hold it right here and like that. So this particular ruler goes all the way up to six and a half inches. I can make six and a half inch squares. Okay, so what I did was is I moved my bar all the way over to the six and a half inch mark. I cut strips and after I cut the strips I turned the ruler this way or I should say I turned the strips so that they're this way and I butt no this way here. <laughs> and I butt them up against here, and I cut so I can do two and a half inch squares, two inch squares, and I can just do it really fast and easy. And so if you're doing you know two inch squares and you're sewing them, to, well, it would be two and a half inch squares. And you're doing um, you know you might be doing flying geese or you might be doing anything. They're all going to be exactly the same, even if you measured incorrectly. They're all going to be exactly. <laughs> Same. So that's huh? Jessica says she always struggles to square up her fabric. Mm -hmm. Do you have any hints or tricks? Well, when you first lay out your fabric, <laughs> you're going to cut your first pass, um, and you know as narrow as you can, and still get it squared up. And then after that, with this particular ruler, you shouldn't have to square up again. You, if you're using a regular ruler and it might slip a little bit, you're going to have to keep squaring up about every fourth or fifth cut I think is what they suggest. So how do you square it up at the beginning? Okay so what I do is I run my my um, fold. Not my fold. Manufacturer's edge? No it's, it's called the salvage. Yeah, this is my salvage. Okay. <laughs> yeah my brain doesn't work so good. So I run my salvage. I set it up so it's even along one of my lines here and then I take my ruler and I line it up to square up first. So I'm right on here, I think. Just a little teeny bit, okay? 
I'm going to square up. Get your fingers out of the way. Okay, now I should be exactly. That's not good. That's a brand new blade too. Okay, so I'm exactly on the line right there. I'm square. I am straight here on the bottom. And then now, watch what I do. I'm going to do a two and a half inch strip. And I guess I can't reach that far. That's my problem. Okay, we'll pretend that I did that perfectly. <laughs> I love pretending. I'm really good at pretend. Is pretend is good. <laughs> okay, so here's my strip, and I'm going to start I'm going to line that up against that black line right there. I'm going to get my I'm going to square up here. And you should close your blade in between. Now watch, when I butt that up against here. If Cindy was here, she would be telling you. She would be close afraid your blade, for your... Yes. There's my perfect two and a half inch square. I've got two of them there. I can just butt it up again. And I can just keep going. So all my squares are exactly the same size. No boo-boos. And I've got my six inch squares here. So it goes really, really fast. Now the rulers, again, I started with the one that's six and a half inches by 14. That one is normally $29.99. We have it for $24.99 as the this week's special. This is the most um, common used one that I'm using right here. It's the six and a half by 23 and a half. And this one is normally $49.99 and we have it for $39.99. So you're getting $10 off of that one. And the biggest one that, that you can do up to 10 and a half inch strips, which is right here. This is the large. So I can cut my squares up to 10 and a half inches going both ways and down to a half an inch, um, <laughs> from a half an inch up to 10 and a half inches. And this one is normally $79.99 and I have it for $59.99 as the show special. <coughs> so if anybody has any questions, let me know. But if you cut a lot of squares, you cut a lot of strips, you wanna uh, square things up, these are the rulers that work they're just wonderful they really are and they save you so much time and you know sometimes you get the top of your line on one number and the bottom of your line on another and you think it's straight and it's not or sometimes you just miss i i have wasted a lot of fabric just by not being able to maintain a measure of any kind so anyway that's how they work uh if you would like to purchase one just put a comment in the bottom um the mint put either the mini the medium or the large and I'll know what you're talking about or you can use our numbers number the mini is 1201 is the item number and 1202 is the medium which is the six and a half by 23 and a half and the large is 1203 and that is the big one 10 10 and a half by 23 and a half so just so you know it's making Susan crazy that you're not closing your cutters Cutter. it's cut it's closed now I I did it. I'm usually pretty good at it, but I get nervous when I get in front of the camera. I'm, I'm sorry. I know we're all friends. And so, but you know, that's the way it is. Anyway, tomorrow we I are going to have- come. I never close mine. Wait a minute. Oh, my friend <laughs> just fell. <laughs> um, <laughs> tomorrow we are going to be doing the stitch and bitch. <laughs> And it's a open sewing and everybody is welcome. We're having it in a Zoom room and we're gonna post the link to the Zoom room on the Stephan G Show Facebook page. Tomorrow morning? Yeah. Yeah, we'll post it tomorrow morning. And um, I'm gonna be working on a fidget quilt and what are you gonna work on? I'm gonna try to finish these four patches or whatever the heck they are. The purple? Yeah. Okay. I wanna get that done and finished and then Dusty's gonna do something magnificent with rulers on it oh, how fun. whenever he gets home. Well, so. he'll be home in about 
10 days or so. Whenever. Whenever. Whenever <laughs> that is, he'll be here oh. and and we'll we'll have it quilted and he'll do some videos and stuff. So you'll get longer. to watch her make the quilt tomorrow and then you'll get to watch St uh, Dusty quilt it because he'll do it live on uh, on Outlaw Long Arm Quilter Facebook yes. page. And he's actually, they stopped yesterday at uh, Stephen Luann's. Oh, really? Yes. So okay, Stephen Luann are the people that sell the So Steady tables and the... Uh, the Ideal the Seam Guide. Seam Guides. Yes. Yeah. It shows. And um, so they're a lovely, lovely couple. And we love them to death. And we enjoy when we get to see them at shows. And they also have an RV that I think they live in it, don't they? Uh, they have a house still. And they had a truck. And now they have a fifth wheel instead of an RV. They must have gotten rid of the RV. I don't know. I don't, huh, I don't think they ever had an RV. Oh, yeah. They had a... I thought it was always just a camper. Huh. Well, I, I don't know. know. But yeah, their truck got stolen, remember? Yes. Yeah. They they retrieved the truck. I now they, they have a new, a new truck. One. Yeah. Margo Margo wants to know what time. Stitch and Bitch is at 3 tomorrow. We'll three to probably five. be in there a little early, so just come, come on, on in. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> somebody will let you in. <laughs> Anyhow, <laughs> so, but uh, I have, I'm going to work on that, but um, because we're doing that fidget quilt class. Yeah. Or you're doing that fidget quilt class. She needs samples. Yeah, but so. I don't think it's going to be a class. I was thinking maybe we can just all get together and make them together, but I have to make a sample Oh, first. we could make yeah. them during Stitch and Bitch. That's right. That would be fun. It's a community service project that's coming up because there's going to be an Alzheimer's Day uh, coming up, I think, in October sometime or something, and or maybe November. But anyway, we want to gather up some uh, fidget quilts to take over to the local um, nursing home that has a section for Alzheimer's patients. Stephanie's um, father-in-law is currently in one of those um, institutions and he does not recognize people too much anymore. Um, yes. So, so if you have somebody in your life that is suffering from this um, horrible, horrible uh, condition, you might want to participate or you just might want to participate for the good, you know. So Susan wants to know, will you still do the demo at two or not? For the, st which one? On Stitch and oh, Bitch no, Day. Oh, no, on Stitch and Ditch, just Stitch and Bitch Day. What, if you want to ditch, that's okay. Uh, <laughs> you no, know, we're not going to do a demo. And Thursday of this week, we did have a demo planned, but we are canceling it. It is the um, full line stencil demo, and she will be doing that next week instead. And the, because uh, we're, we have to, she has a doctor's appointment, so we're going to go to town. And then even though you said that you're going to be putting the invites on the 7G page tomorrow morning, mm -hmm. uh, Margo Margo still wants to know if the Zoom invites are out on 7G tonight. No. No. Nothing out tonight, tomorrow morning. Uh, oh, and there's another thing. My class that was this weekend, we had a few people that wanted to get in in the last half hour uh, before the class started. And by that time, I am not on the computer. I am here doing things, preparing for the class. So in that case, um, you're going to have to send your requests to the person who is not teaching the class to get you in. So if I'm teaching the class, you have to send them to Stephanie at Farrell's Country Stitching. And if Steph is teaching the class, you have to send them to me because I will be monitoring um, the class and the people, the requests. So, yeah. so yeah. we're trying to keep our crap together and get better, but you know. You know how it is. You know how it is. Yeah, yeah we're not so great. No, we're not organized. And that's one thing we have in common. We, we really do complement each other very well in most things, but in this one, we're both disasters. So um, <laughs> next week... Um, we have the expand uh, Sunday. We have the expansion set class that you can get into by emailing Farrell's Country Stitching and saying I want in that class. Okay, uh, actually it's Country Stitching at Gmail dot com. C o u n t r y s t i t c h i n at Gmail dot com, and then the applique class is the next week at September the sixth. And um, I should maybe be working on that during Stitch and Bitch. Yeah. Because it's a brand new pattern and everything. Okay. And then Badass Binding, which is going to be a great class of September the 13th, and Steph is going to be teaching all uh, 
all binding techniques and some award-winning binding techniques because they have a lot of awards hanging up in this place, let me tell you. And then we're going to, we were supposed to do fidget quilts, but I think what we're going to do is do that during the stitch and bitch. Because uh, okay. I think it'd be more fun if we did it. Together, yeah. yeah. together. It'd sure. be more fun. And then the stone set that we, sp we uh, had last week on special, she's teaching that class on September the 27th. So any of those classes, if you want to attend, send an email to Farrell's Country Stitching. Um, the fidget, uh, not fidget, we're going to replace that. Uh, the applique class, you can send them all to her, it's fine. I <laughs> <laughs> we're both teaching the class, so you could send the applique uh, request to either me or her, but you know. And we may end up having to stretch the applique class out to another day. Well, then maybe what we'll do is have it September 6th and September the uh, 20th, two, okay. two separate classes. So you'll get in on both of the classes. Just because we're, I mean, we're going to cover a lot of techniques. So. Yes. And the applique class is going to be, you know, a lot of techniques too. So. No, that's what I'm talking oh, about. Oh, I thought you were talking about the, uh, the oh, the, that's right. You're, and I, I was right when I, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> It's time for me to go now. <laughs> this is G. And I'm Steph. And, and we're going to see you tomorrow for Stitch and Bitch. Yes, 3 o'clock. And look for the link right, on... 3 o'clock or 2 o'clock? 3, three o'clock Stitch, Stitch and Bitch is 3 o'clock to 5 o'clock. That way, because there's some people who are working through right, this. so. Sure. Okay, we want to no, make sure to. We have to confuse you. So, well, yeah, we're trying you know, our best. The show is one o'clock. Demos are two o'clock, and Stitch and Bitch is three o'clock. So, yeah, why make it easy for people to find you? That's no. right. We're trying to make it as difficult as humanly possible. And we, if we find, if we get feedback that everybody wants everything at two, we can do everything at two. You know, but yeah, yeah, whatever, whatever. We're easy, kind of. We're <laughs> not. We're not going anywhere. So, <laughs> it, I guess it doesn't much matter to yeah. us, does it? I am. I'm. I'm being driven <clears throat> crazy. Thank you. <laughs> Short drive. All right. See Bye. you. Bye.